so the much awaited program by adobe is finally out and you can participate in this if you are a first year student second year student third year student or a final year student and you are pursuing your battles of technology and in this video i'm going to discuss with arin who was the second runner up last year in their adobe gensol challenge and the same challenge is happening this time so we'll ask him what was his problem statement how did he participate how he managed to be in the top three teams like what should you do as an individual if you want to ace this challenge some important things before we start this video it is the hackathon in which first year to final year students across all colleges in india are eligible whether you are b tech or an me m tech student all of you are eligible any college does not matter perks top two teams will be getting prize money prize money mein they have macbook and ipad so all team members of the team would get an ipad or an I, uh, macbook Plus, you also get a direct internship opportunity at Adobe without any interviews for the first two teams and you can get a stipend of 1 lakh per month if you do that internship. Top 50 of you would get PPI opportunities at Adobe. This is the second thing. Stipend generally for an Adobe internship is 1 lakh per month. CTC is 40 to 50. LPA is what uh, is generally prevalent in the market for Adobe's uh, software engineering role or MTS1. That is the first role that when somebody gets into Adobe gets. I think the like target of this video has 2000 likes. If we hit the like target, I'll come up with more such amazing videos. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Make sure there's so many other videos. The last video was with Walmart, Walmart Sparkathon. I think you should definitely check out that also. Now let's move on to our conversation with Arun, who was the second runner-up in last year's Adobe Gensol. So before starting this video, I would like to have a brief introduction of Arun. So myself, Arun, I'm a, th I'm a fourth year undergrad at IIT Guwahati. I'm majoring in physics and I'm currently interning as a SD at Iris Infra. Tell us more about what this challenge is to a beginner who is in first year, second year, is not aware about what Adobe does and what it, this challenge is and how can he participate. So, yeah. So basically, this, so basically this challenge came around uh, June last year and it was all about Gen AI development uh, with the theme. So it was from their cr creative cloud team. So uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, about the hackathon. And we creative cloud that is organizing this hackathon again this time. I think what were the different rounds that you participated in? Right? Maybe if you can help us elaborate on round one, round two, round three, how, how were they? So uh, there were three rounds. So first one was the online assessment round. Uh, so each, so a team can have a maximum of three and a minimum of two uh, that time. And also, I think this time also they have the same structure. And uh, yeah, so the first round was the online assessment round where the team members have to individually uh, pass this assessment. And on the basis of their average, uh, they will be uh, forwarded to the next round. So uh, in the next round, we were given a problem statement where the selected team have to brainstorm on it and uh, send their prototypes what they have made. And finally, they select uh, 20 or 25 teams out of it. And they were given uh, they were given a next challenge uh, out of it, uh, out of the 25 uh, teams, they select only six. And these six teams were uh, invited to their NOIDA office and they were given a different problem statement uh, on which they decide the winner. And like you mentioned this first round, right, in which average of all the scores is to be taken. So what were the kind of questions in the first round or how was the difficulty level of first round? Okay. Okay, so it's pretty like what uh, any uh, online assessment is like for a company if you see it's in the internship or placements. So it has two DSA problems and core CS fundamentals they asked in this. The DSA problems were those like easy, medium, medium, hard. What was the kind of DSA problem? So, if you remember anything. So basically, remember so basically anything? yeah, so basically I know what DSA problems I had. I had a graph problem and it was a lead code medium and a uh, tree problem which was a lead code hard i guess questions and cs fundamentals like which all topics should students focus on if they want to prepare for cs fundamentals so cs fundamentals so cs fundamentals they ask about oops and somewhat of the logical reasoning as well and uh, uh, oops uh, computer networks and dbms etc so are in second third year they would have been introduced to some of these subjects and you might be able to solve these problems as well as answer questions to these uh, CS fundamentals. But uh, apart from this, like when you were to select a problem statement and start working on it for the second round, like how did you come to that problem statement? This is the problem statement that we'll be working on. Or was a problem statement given to you by the company and you started working on it? And how can somebody form a team for uh, a hackathon like this? 
so uh, first so uh, first coming on the team structure so we can create a team uh, basically from the same college uh, cross colleges are not allowed and we can have the team from cross departments as well as from cross years but not from the cross colleges and we can have a maximum of 3 and a minimum of 2 as i told you and basically from for the second round when the team uh, clear the first round after the second of after the first round uh, teams are given the problem statement itself by the company so they created a uh, telegram channel for the selected teams and share the problem statement over there only and uh, it and if i elaborate uh, so basically it was something around the computer vision so we were given a data set of doodles we have to beautify and regularize it and using the different techniques so basically uh, if a team stand out with the with them uh, we can say with the out of the box approach they selects for the top 6 so we had some of these approaches like uh, after the second round uh, we had a interview for these teams who been shortlisted in the top 20 for to get into a top 6 and like students like you mentioned top 6 teams right like from which yeah. colleges these teams were from were they all tier 1 colleges tier 2 colleges like or anyone was eligible yeah anyone was yeah anyone was eligible like we have two iits one triple it one vit and one mait uh, that uh, from delhi it included colleges from tier 3 colleges also tier 2 colleges also private universities also yeah. from triple its iits so yeah. mix of kind of all the colleges and so, so this is an open opportunity for any one of you who is in any college throughout india right So yeah, after this, this is not biased yeah so after this like after the second round you were shortlisted in the top 6 right what happened next So basically, after so basically after clearing the second round, after clearing the interview with the computer scientist of Adobe, uh, we were just added to the group for the round three, and we were given a different problem statement. Uh, we thought that we will be working on the prototype of the round two problem, but uh, we were given a different problem statement based out of like uh, this was uh, the problem statement name was uh, I think Game Sense, and it was like AI powered uh, sports vision tool. Uh, they will just give us the videos and. as a data set and we have to track objects and um, construct the scoring from this uh, sports video and all but like for example for doing something like this right you would have already known these skills before what all skill set did you have before participating in this challenge so basically uh, basically uh, well, as a student i just went through all the basic machine learning uh, courses and all deal courses from coursera and all before the challenge of... this you did before the challenge or when you, once you started once you participated in the challenge then no 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 so all my team all my teammates were uh, were aware of these courses and they know how to tackle the problem also uh, we have some even semester projects in our colleges uh, in our college for, by the coding club so we uh, so my teammates we had the same team while doing this uh, project name ai image classifier so we if you form the team for that do you and so from there on the somebody who is participating in this year like right? for example he is not uh, that skilled or he is not aware of what skill set he should have so what do you suggest how can he start how can he start preparing because it's still time i think it's close to a month's time for them to register what all a person can do in a month so that he is prepared for uh, the second round or the first round if he clears the first round for then for the second round so basically so basically for my mantra is uh, if uh, you want to excel in something you can learn through from the projects only so if you start if you are given something you will just focus on the resources and will look around what projects are there on the github and you will just uh, brainstorm on it so you will learn on the go on this so if someone doesn't know how to tackle the problem they will learn on the go say that even if you're not uh, fully fully uh, capable or you think that you don't have those kind of skills still if you'll participate there are high chances that you can learn those skills on the go is what i conclude from your statement any uh, and what what exactly do a student gets once he or she participates in adobe hackathon like what are the perks and benefits of this hackathon so uh, so uh, for the top 6 uh, so they had different types of perks for the top 50 candidates they gave uh, the ppis and uh, for the internships and for the top 6 we get a creative cloud subscription for one year and we get goodies from adobe and a short short ppi from it two teams also get some prizes right yeah first two teams go get a macbook air and ipad air and also they get direct internship 
like without any interview you are like there for an internship with adobe so first two teams if you are in first two teams you don't have to give interviews also to uh, crack a company like adobe you are directly hired directly get into adobe for an internship that pays a stipend of 1 lakh rupees yeah any any final piece of advice that you have for folks participating this year any any tips you would want to have any don'ts that you have in mind that these this is something that you should not do if you are participating in a challenge like this so basically i want to give one advice is make your team wisely and choose your teammates uh, wisely because they matter the most hmm got it cool eh? thank you so much arena i think it was great talking to you and uh, super helpful for folks who are participating this year i wish you all the best and see you sometime soon